This is my first time here, and yeah, it's a great experience. I think it's really you know, positive for the community to have a place where people can come and barter and share kind of more informal gifts and kind of create more of an informal life. Well, I'm just people watching the other people watching me. We're all people watching the other people watching we And we're as lonely as we wanted to be We're all as lonely as we wanted to be And I think bartering is the way to go Just as lonely as we wanted to be I'm just you You're just that me. place where we have freedom It's only true And it's the end of the harvest, and like I get down on the harvest goods, and so you know we're sharing our abundance. It's harvest time, and you know hopefully everybody had a good time, and we all come here with like, say I was a pumpkin farmer, you know, and I want to trade my pumpkins off for some tomatoes, you know, and so everybody can do that. Just people to people sharing their craft. But we're as lonely as we wanted to be. We're all as lonely as we wanted to be. I'm just as lonely as I wanted to be. I'm just you. You're just me. Butterfair means to collide with your pupils and bond with people that you've never met before. Just to have a really great time with all the people that you love and new friends as well. And it really builds relationships between all the peoples of the lands. It's a great place. And I've been coming for about 10 years, and every year is wonderful. The magic of the market is always with us, so I hope you guys are having a great time too. I've always thought that money's not necessarily necessary if everybody was just willing to do what they did best and, and, and not worry about getting money for it. We wouldn't need money anymore. When a true barter, just from heart to heart, you know, I need this and you have that and you want to and it just happens. It's not like a lot of attachment or stress over the money of it. I guess one of the difficult natures of bartering is that sometimes you don't necessarily want the thing that the person's wanting to barter for you. So. Well, I did start the Okanagan Barter Fair, uh, and that was in 1974. And it was obvious that to have a complete winter stash of food, I couldn't grow it all myself. I said, let's have a gathering this fall, and we all bring our extra foods of the things that we grew, and we trade them with each other so that we would all go home with a wide diversity of food. It's like chasing down here and losing my lot It's like trying to hold back the waters of the sea. The first year, 400 people came. And we had a great party. Oh my gosh. It was such a good party that everybody wanted to do it again next year. It became, in a sense, a giant farmer's market, a giant craft fair.